What's the difference between Cora Amino and Restore? And what does your tank need? Let's get into it. So welcome back to another episode of Tell the Truth Thursday where I review a product that I use and I tell you what I think about it. Firstly, as always, I'm not sponsored by anyone even though I wish I was. So these reviews are really just how I feel and information I wish I could find online but I struggled to find. So today we'll be looking at both the Cora Amino and Restore by Brightwell. They are both amino acid products and the differences between both of them. Before I get into this video, it would be super helpful if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel. It will go a long, long way to help me and supporting me. Thank you. So for Cora Amino and Restore, firstly, they are both amino acid products. They are used as nutrition for our corals. So to understand better and what is best for a tank, we need to understand how they differ. So to understand how they differ, we need to understand the different forms of amino acids. Amino acids can be thought about as a chain. Corals use this chain as a way to build their structure and for corals, they either take each link or each loop of a chain to build a long chain or they take the whole chain immediately and use it. And you might be thinking, how do they decide which to do? It boils down to the type of coral. So different corals have different nutritional demands. In general, SPS corals take individual loops due to the size of their mouth and LPS and softies because of their larger mouth take in the whole chain. So coral amino is more of a bottle of these free floating loops, also known as free form amino, while restore is a mixture of both free floating loops and complex chains. So what this means is that restore is part coral amino and part complex amino acids in the bottle. So I was watching a Q&A with Jeremy from Brightwell and he mentioned that Restore was developed so that if you wanted a mixture of both forms of amino acids, you have a bottle which have both forms which will be useful for your corals. To determine which product is the right one for you, you just have to ask yourself one question and that is what forms of corals do you have in your tank? So if you have a SPS dominant tank, then go with Cora Amino. If you have a mix with, then go with Restore. It is as simple as that. There might be two questions that you are thinking of. The first being, if I use Restore, what will happen to my SPS? Will they get nutrition? Well, you don't have to worry about that because Restore in this bottle also has free form aminos coupled with complex chains which your SPS can use. The other question that I had was, should I be mixing both of them? So what it means is that on one day I use Coral Amino, on another day I use Restore. Well, this is a complex question to answer, but the way I see it is that if you have a mix with, just stick to using Restore. And you don't have to spend the money and effort on using two different products. However, if you have like a 75% SPS, then maybe you can mix it up by dosing Coral Amino on five days a week and Restore on two days a week or something like that. So mainly core aminos on more days and restores on lesser days. For me personally, I've been dosing both restore and core amino on alternate days and I can give you a good review of whether one is working better than the other because I've been using them on an alternate basis. So both of them are in my tank throughout the week. What I can tell you is that since using amino acids in both forms, the colours of the corals have become more vibrant. I do think that personally as I were to run out of coral amino, I would just stop using it because my tank is largely LPS dominant and I just don't see the point of using coral amino anymore. So to conclude this video, it's really simple. If you have an SPS dominant tank, use coral amino and if you have a mixed reef, use resto. With that, I think I'll end my video right here. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, love your tank too. Next time, see ya.